Right, to the only champs, and here we're going to unbox this Zeus Tough Guy. <laughs> I was only joking. What the hell is that crap? Here, the King XPS 15. Let's do it. I'm only joking there, the Tough is actually a beastie laptop and I'll review that soon. But this is what I've been waiting for. Is your floppy ready to turn to a solid state or the other way around? Let's see. Can't wait to test this out. I will be comparing it to this, of course. MacBook Pro 16, the ultimate shootout between the three laptops that are so sexy. And let's just do it anyway. That's not a knife. This is a knife. So you want to make sure you buckle in, subscribe. We're going to have a quick look at it here and then we're going to do a thermal test and the thermal test will tell you everything you need to know. So anyway, I hope this is an XPS 15. Oh, let's have a look here. Whoa, new box for the new sexy XPS 15. Sexpies 15, should I say. That's cool, new box, new box. Look at it in all its glory there. I'm liking that. Would have been better if it was white, of course. And there's the top. Looks very familiar, doesn't it? I would love the XPS logo there instead of, you know, that logo. The one here, here. Can you see that? Maybe not. That logo here, I want that there. Um, so anyway, let's take her out. Put her aside for the moment. Feels nice, it feels flat, it feels compact. Yeah, it's nice, nice, nice. Oh, sex yes. Make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna slam that thing. There's so many tests I'm gonna do, comparing it to everything. And there's the power lead there. And what we do get in here is a dongle. Yes, you get the adapter. It's HDMI, okay, and it's USB Type A. It's a cool dongle too. Look at that. So you don't have to worry about the lack of ports, okay? They give you this. Apple will charge you 65 bucks for this thing. Look there, they saved the whales with more plastic, see? Does anyone even open this? Would be nice if you got XPS stickers, wouldn't it? But anyway, that's that. And the 130 watt power brick, okay? Now, what's interesting is the XPS 17, and I will have that in, of course. Uh, the XPS 17 is 130 watts as well. That has a RTX 2060. This one has a 1650 Ti. And you wonder, well, if that's 130 watts, why couldn't you put a 1660 Ti in the XPS 15? And I guess maybe the thinking behind that is that this being so thin, light and compact, you know, they really need that vapor chamber on the XPS 17 to cool it down. Maybe in this sort of form factor here will be a bit of a stretch to sort of cool that down, but we'll see how good the thermals are now. All right, so I've got my lovely pink tray here and yeah, is it just me or runners and sneakers in general? All the girls get the best colors or why well, they call them sneakers by the way is that because you sneak up on people and give them the old greek love and don't laugh that i actually have gloves on here no i'm not practicing for the fist of fury although i'm in training when it works doesn't really work that often these days but anyway i'm not practicing for that i know my xps 15s and i know as soon as i touch that carbon deck on the inside and have a look how sexy this thing is Beautiful, I wish that logo was there, as I said before. Uh, it's nice, thin, compact. I'll compare it to the other laptop so you can have a look there, the sizes. There's compared to the Surface laptop. Here's compared to a normal 15 inch laptop. And there you can see compared to the MacBook Pro 16. So yeah, a lot smaller and compact this thing is. A lot smaller and compact. Let's open it up. Now this sexy beast here, oh, Windows Home, come on. What's going on here? If you have Windows Home and you want to upgrade it to Windows Pro, look in the description. I've got a discount and link for you where you can buy that. You can also buy Office 2019 in the description. It doesn't matter, any laptop, if you want to upgrade it to Pro, just check out those links. But in the system specs here of my 9500, I have an i7 10750H, and I also have 16 gigabytes of RAM with the GTX 1650 Ti. Now I will be getting an i9 in. I'll tell you why later. But anyway, let's get into it. Now, the reason they say that they have carbon deck is not just for looks and rigidity. It's actually for skin temperature. So it can actually, you know, repel or it's a thermal guard against the heat. But it is fingerprint. I hope they do bring out the white one. It's nice, soft touch. You've got this beautiful big trackpad here. Have a look at this trackpad. It will still be a diving board mechanism, so it's not going to be able to be pressed there but nice and big you like compared to like the surface book i mean look how big it is and it's very similar to the mac there similar speaker design on the side 
similar sort of trackpad and that's a good thing because the Mac design is really nice so and this is too and that keyboard that keyboard is really nice so we'll look at the brightness here we're getting reflections that's max brightness supposed to be 500 nits of course it is touch and I've got gloves on and still works so that's good so anyway let's get into it and thermal test it and we'll see how we go here and if we have a look at the ports port situation of course Thunderbolt, no, that's USB Type-C. You can charge here as well. SD card reader, and it's the combination audio jack. This side over here, we have two Thunderbolt 3s and the Kensington lock there. So look at it, nice and thin. It's, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. And let's thermal test it. We'll soon see whether my floppy turns it to a solid state or even a solid snake. Make sure you subscribe because I will be comparing it to the Surface Book 3, MacBook Pro, gaming tested content creation tested, DPC latency, all that sort of stuff I'll be testing. Many reviews to come, so make sure you sub up. Oh my God, how friggin' sexy is that? Wow, that quad infinity edge display, that wallpaper, beautiful, nice carbon deck there. It looks the part, it looks so sexy opened up like that, it just, yeah. That's not maximum brightness, that is maximum brightness. Go down to, yeah, these very bright. I can tell you, looking at it straight away, these very bright. And I'm in love with that keyboard straight away. Oh, I don't want to touch it, but um, yeah, I'm in love with that keyboard. That is really good. Trackpad seems nice as well. All right, so this thing has some bizarre behavior, I can tell you right now. And actually, there's a BIOS update, but I want to do pre-BIOS, see how it is with gaming before and after BIOS, see if there's any real difference, if they nerfed it. I don't know. That's the thing, right? If they nerfed it, I want to know if it performs better with the bias now, but actually I'll run Cinebench. Now that was a stock score of 2,903, which is pretty good for an i7. This one has the i7. Don't worry, I will be getting in the i9. I actually do want the XPS 15 with the Qualcomm modem. This one has the Intel base kill modem. I want the Qualcomm one. And so, you know, I'll wait for the i9 to come out. But this is the i7, the 6-core i7, by the way. So the 10750H. And that was a score, 2,903, which is, that's decent for an i7 6-core. Let's just run it. The bizarre behavior was, it was sitting at like 100 degrees the whole time through the test. And the fans are on really low. I'll tell you some specs, actually some wattage limits and power limits in a sec. And as you can see here, it's still 100 degrees, it's still 92 watts, done up to 96 watts, which is quite a lot. It's saying down here, power limit two is 68 watts. So it should go down to 68 watts, but it goes a bit lower than that, I'll show you. But can you hear the fans? So it was running that sort of like medium fans during the whole test, okay? So the fans weren't loud at all. And then the wattage went down to around 50 watts, and then the fans just cranked up. So it's like, why didn't the fans crank up at the start? And maybe it could have held that wattage for longer. But as you can see here, the wattage is holding. 73 watts it's holding. That's quite amazing in such a thin and light package. 73 watts. And it will maintain this 70 something watts, the whole um, sort of test here. I'll tell you some things here. All right, 50 watt GPU it is, 1650 Ti, it's 50 watts. That's how much power it is, sorry. 87 degree limit on that GPU. So Bob of all trades, the man, he told me how to do that. Yeah, 87 degrees. So the other one was 75 degrees. So it's 50 watts. How many watts we're still pushing? 75 watts. Then the fans crank up, then the wattage will drop. No, made a liar of me. This time, the wattage is still staying at, there you go. As soon as the fans crank up, the wattage dropped to about 50 now. Okay, so it's doing 50 watts. But the, the fans crank up when it drops the wattage. It's like, it's weird. I think that's power limit throttling. It is power limit throttling. I know that. It says right there, power limit throttling. So we'll see what happens with the new bias. But what I want to know is the thermal package here. What, what sort of score we got there in Cinebench? Well, 2,739. So it's less than the other score we got. Now we want to see what happens when we hit the GPU and CPU 100%. It's already hot already. Let's do it. We'll run its GPU, and <laughs> this isn't really fair, I guess, uh, but all right, and we'll run the GPU at the same time. All right, so GPU and CPU, and the score it got was about 10,000 10, something in Luxmark, 
That was the score it got. Now it's lighting up the GPU and CPU at once. Let's see what's happening in hardware info. 44 watts, see the boost is not happening now. So it's sitting at that 45 watts. The GPU is now doing 50 watts, 40 watts now, 39 watts. So it was doing 50 watts when it was just the GPU test only. So it's now doing 40 watts and the CPU is doing 45 watts. Okay, so 45 watts on the CPU, that's how it's limited when the GPU's been lit up 100%. And while that GPU's been lit up 100%, it did go up to 86 degrees, the maximum. So that's where it's backed off, it's hit that 86. And now it's going at 40 watts instead of 50 watts, which it can do. And we're looking at wattage here, so we don't care about the scores, but we'll just see how much of a haircut you get. Now we're doing 40 watts on the CPU, okay? Now it'll be interesting to see what the new BIOS does. 80 degrees on the CPU at the moment, GPU is 74 degrees. So once those wattages come down, so it goes down to about 45 watts CPU, 40 watts GPU, you're looking at 80 degrees. And when it's boosting, it'll hit 100 and it'll stay at 100 for a long time. Now it's, what are we doing? 40 watts with the GPU being lit up 100% and that GPU is doing 40 watts as well. The score here of 2,232, that's a, quite a bit of a haircut there with the GPU being lit up 100%. So I'm gonna do this BIOS upgrade and we'll do this thermal test again. But from what I can see from this package here, you're looking at 40 watts on the GPU and around 40 watts on the CPU. Sustain both of them together. So, you know, if you were hoping for 50 watts full on the GPU and, you know, 60 watts, you know, 55 watts on the CPU while the GPU has been lit up, well, doesn't look like it on this BIOS at least. We see how we go there with the BIOS update, but there you go. You know the thermal capacity of this now with the current old BIOS, and I've got to go in here, go and update this BIOS. Stay tuned for my gaming review. At the end of the day, this sexy thing here, I want to see how it performs in gaming. I want to see how it performs in content creation, in real world stuff. 40 watts on the GPU, 40 watts on the CPU together. Maximum sort of capacity here at the moment with this current BIOS. It's okay, it's not great, it's not fantastic, but in the real world, will that matter? Will it matter for gaming? Maybe if it's got 40 watts on the CPU, 40 watts on the GPU, it'll game all day long at those sort of wattages and never have a hiccup. And you saw when the GPU and CPU was being lit up 100%, it was only 80 degrees. So there may be some more thermal capacity for more power. And this is probably why this has a GTX 1650 and not a GTX 2060 should be able to go harder for longer than this. It's just, yeah, that's just how it's gonna be. Anyway, stay tuned, sub up, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.